Hello everybody, this is LaShawn Williams. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Top Cash Back to get cash back on your purchases. I um, just recently had a sale come in through Amazon.com and um, I personally use cash back sites to get extra money on sales that I already made. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, fulfill that order but I'm also going to let you see exactly how to use uh, Top Cash Back to get money back. So uh, first you go to their website, there will be a link above or below this video depending on where you're watching it, maybe in the description. So um, first thing you want to do, go to their website, uh, click on member login, then you enter your email address and password. That will take you into your account. So the next step is you just go to the website where you want to make that purchase. So in this case, my supplier is going to be walmart.com. So I come down select the right one they have it in Canada and uh, United States just click on cash back come down uh, what I want to buy falls under this category all other purchases so I click on get cash back it opens up a new window and after you do that the rest of it is just like you never even went to top cash back it's um, exactly the same as never having I mean, uh, never having gone to the top cash back first, it's just shop like you normally would. So, what I'm going to do here is log into my account, click sign in. So, this is all the stuff that I would um, be doing if I um, never even, like, if I didn't even know anything about cash back sites. So, the only thing you're doing to get money back on your purchases is that quick little step that I just did. You go to Top Cash Back first, you search for the website, you click on it, and then after that it's the same as, as if you've never even been there. So um, we're just gonna finish the process here right quick. Okay, so um, this is my inside my <clears throat> uh, Amazon seller account. Uh, this is a sale that I just made about a few minutes ago. So um, all I do, is I copy the um, purchasers information and then um, put it on um, Walmart so first thing I do search for what the person bought from me I already know because this has already been sold before so I'm just going to click that click on add to cart if some of this stuff is grayed out it's because um, as a seller you want to protect what you're selling because um, if I didn't gray any of this stuff out a lot of people would start selling the same thing and you don't want that you don't want to create extra competition so that's the reason a lot of it's grayed out so you know the, uh, the rest of this stuff is just as if I went straight to walmart.com click on checkout My connection is a little slow today for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to come down, choose my shipping plan, the prices in there. Uh, there's a lot of addresses already in here from previous customers. So what I do is I copy and paste the name, hit copy, come back over to Walmart, paste it in there. Okay, I got the first name, got the last name. Uh, then I copy the telephone number with Walmart. You have to do it one part at a time. With most sites, you can just do the whole phone number at the same time, but Walmart likes them separated like this. And you know, the best thing about this, what I'm doing, is called drop shipping. Basically, I'm just making money from home. I didn't have to buy an inventory first. I actually sold the product before I bought it, so I know that I'm making some money off of this. It's called arbitrage. It's a great way to make money from home. You don't need to know any technical stuff. You don't have to recruit people into any specific business. Uh, it's just a great way to make some extra cash from home or possibly quit your job and do it full time. A lot of people have done it. So uh, what I have done, okay, I copied all of this information in here. Okay, one last thing. It's not in Iowa. I mean, it's not in California. It's in Iowa. So gotta change that. Then I give it a quick look to make sure I got everything right. 
Okay, first name and last name is right. Telephone number is right. Address is right. Hampton, Iowa. And the zip code is right. So I uh, click save address. You know, this was all done without any kind of recruiting. Made some money. And see, as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, I've made a lot of sales. You know, this was all done from home. I never spoke to any of these people. I didn't have to do any kind of advertising because uh, Amazon takes care of that for me. So um, it's a great way to make money from home. Pretty much, I mean, I don't want to say easy because I don't like to use that word, but it's not the hardest thing in the world that I've ever done either. So I'm just going to skip straight to the end. Um, make sure the one that the person that I'm actually selling to is highlighted, it says selected, click continue. Okay, so now I put in my uh, purchasing information and again, uh, there is a profit made on this. The customer bought it first. Now I'm buying it with the customer's money. So excellent way to make money. Um, there should be a link above or below this video. You uh, you really want to click on that learn exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's a really, really great way to make money in your spare time from home. So after that, click on review order. Okay, and after that, I don't know why this is saying um, translate. This is in English, so I uh, don't need that done. Then um, click on place order. And there you go. It's all done. So um, by doing it that way, I am going to get a get some money back from this uh, purchase that I just made. So I already made some money just off the sale but in about maybe maybe about eight to ten weeks I'm gonna get even more money back because of just doing that one little step in the middle going to top cash back first and then going to um, Walmart so um, um yeah click on the link that there it'll be a um, description of how we're doing this great way to make money from home and even if you don't want to make money from home you should still open up an account because uh, everybody has to make purchases so I mean it doesn't cost anything to open up an account and if you just put that site in the middle just put that one little site that one little extra step in between buying something um, online you can get some of your money back so I mean it's a it's a good way just to save money even if you don't want to make money using it so um, yeah click on the link open up an account or you can click the other link and um, learn what I'm doing to use it to make money or to make more money than what I was making and um, okay this is um, Sean Williams thanks for listening I'll see you on the other side